Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing Travis Scott braids on my hair. Now, not only am I doing Travis Scott braids, I'm actually gonna do them myself. I've braided my hair in single braids, like once, but not my whole head. And obviously I do have a high top, well, what's left of a high top fade. <laughs> but yeah, I've not braided all of my hair by myself. I typically, as you guys know, I've had Candice braid my hair. And then when I was younger, I had other people braid my hair. But yeah, I've never done it myself. So I'm gonna do my attempt and give you guys a tutorial or a how-to on how to actually braid your hair into box braids like ASAP Rocky, Lil Yachty, like Travis Scott. So I'm gonna take my hair down so you guys can see what it looks like dry before I actually take a shower. And I'm gonna show you guys the products and all the stuff I'm gonna be using to actually do this hairstyle. So this is what my hair is looking like straight out of a bun. But you guys break down of everything because I'm sure a lot of you guys are new. I am going through the great. I used to have dreadlocks. I actually combed them out about four months ago. But yeah, I had my dreadlocks for almost four years. Started rocking my natural curly hair. Started doing natural hairstyles, natural hair routines. Learning along the way, teaching you guys as well. And this is just like a learning experience for both of us. So today's definitely gonna be a big learning experience because I've never braided all my hair. I probably haven't even braided over 10 times. Maybe if that, maybe five. But to get into the technical things, my hair is about a 3C or a 4A hair type and I rock a high top fade most of the, some of the time. Today I might actually be giving myself a fade. I might just give me a taper and then take down the sides a little bit, but we'll see. Depending on how clean these braids come out, most likely will be giving myself a fade. Now a lot of people probably were wondering what my race is. I'm actually half black, half white. And I feel like that just better describes why my hair texture is like this and my complexion is so light. But I'm super stoked on everything about, I guess, myself. Even, I think everyone should be. But anyway, I'm actually about to go shower, wash my hair, condition it, do everything that I do in the shower, and then I'll come back, and then we'll start doing the box braids. But before I actually go do that, I'm gonna show you guys all the products that I'm gonna be using for this hairstyle. So I'm gonna be using Texture ID Styling Cream, and this stuff works great. I just like the smell of all the Texture ID stuff, and the products are awesome. And they make products for your hair type. I'm also gonna be using this spray bottle. Works really awesome because it just like emits so much water. Also gonna be using this comb just to get the sections as best as possible. Also can't forget a brush. This is actually a detangling brush. Works really great. I just wanna make sure that my hair is completely detangled. I'm also gonna be brushing my hair in the shower just to make sure that it is completely detangled. And I'll also be using hair ties and probably clips and everything like that. But let's get started. All right, y'all just hopped out of the shower and towel dried my hair. My hair is a little damp, but at the same time, I'm still gonna be using the spray bottle just because my hair is gonna dry out. But the first step I'm gonna get into is separating my hair. I'm gonna work one side at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of the sides away. All right, so now that I got my hair divided down the center and I have this pulled aside, I'm just gonna create the sections that I want up here. I'm pretty sure he has about five on each side. So I just wanna make sure to make those sections as best as possible to make it as clean as possible. Because I feel like the biggest part of all this is making sure that your sections are perfect. So this is gonna be my first section right here. I'm just gonna make sure to get these even on both sides. Now that I got this extra section, I'm gonna put this into a bun as well so I can work on just this section of hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet the hair, comb it through, and then put the product in the hair, and then start braiding. But look how shiny my hair is. Looks really good. All right guys, that's two braids down right now. And then now I'm just gonna try to knock out this whole side. I think one of the biggest challenges, or one of the challenges that you will have is trying to get them to all be the same size. And it's the same thing with dreadlocks. If you make the same section size, as far as the section on your scalp, then they all should turn out to be the same size. I know that this one's skinnier than this one because the section is smaller, but we're gonna see what they look like as a whole once I'm completed. All right guys, so there's those three right there. I'm gonna finish this half and then I'll come right back right when I finish this half of the head. All right guys, back like I never left and finish this whole side and it's not perfect, but 
practice makes perfect, like I said. I'll just keep on getting better at it. Some of them are actually kind of different sizes. Actually trying to pull it as best as you can from the root is not easy on your first go. But I'm getting there and I've noticed that on the back it's harder because you're trying to find a position to actually braid because like I can't braid like this. Like I have to be down here going down. So this one on the very back is like really loose the root, but we're gonna get there. And then I'm gonna also try to fix them up to where they are a little more straight versus curly at the tips. But like I said, I'll show you how to fix that later on in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my head and then see what the entirety of everything looks like and see if I can do some hairstyles with it. And based on how good it looks at the end, I might even keep it for a while. Cause I know it is risky like trying new hairstyles, especially if you do them on yourself. But we'll see how it looks at the end. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll come right back. All right, y'all. Braided all my hair. This is pretty cool. I've never braided all my hair. Never, first time ever. Now a few flaws. Obviously the roots aren't the best that they could possibly be. And the tips are a bit curly. It's because I played it safe and I didn't want to use gel. I use styling cream versus using gel. Now, any other time that I do braid my hair or I have Candace braid my hair, she uses gel, which is really strong, which that kind of goes into the tip on how to straighten all these out, which I'll do in a little bit. I'm actually gonna go eat really quick and we'll get right back into this, but I'm stoked. Like I actually did it, I did it. Like you can actually do something if you put your mind to it. So try it and follow these steps, but we still have a lot more going on. I still believe I'm gonna give myself a fade and then show you guys how to straighten these out, make sure that they're good and looking clean. And also I'm going to kind of fix the frizziness on my roots as well. So stay tuned. And now that I've allowed my hair time to dry, this is basically what it looks like after the whole process. So now the best thing I can do to make all these look straighter and look more neat would be to use some gel. And today I'm gonna to be using the Mocha de Gorilla. This stuff works great. And the reason why I like it is because it doesn't flake and it doesn't get white. It doesn't seem like a gel that you would typically use, but this actually works really well. And if you wanted to, you could actually use this to braid your hair versus using cream. But I'm gonna go over it with the gel just because I didn't use it to braid my hair initially. I may have to use heat in the long run just to speed up the process, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna put barely any on my finger and I just wanna make sure that I get good separation. All right, I feel like I've done as best as I can as far as the roots. To tell you the truth, it's probably not as best as I can, but I'm just gonna focus on making sure that the tips are not curly. So I am gonna actually apply some heat to this. I'm just gonna use a flat iron or whatever they're called, a straightening iron. And then this should straighten them out just fine. Now mind you, I'm not going all the way to the tip because I don't wanna melt the rubber band. So the tips are still curly, but I feel like my hair's maintained a whole lot better. I'm gonna take a look at the mirror, see what it looks like, see if I need to adjust any things, but this is what it's looking like so far. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good for me doing it myself. I'm like super surprised in it. And I'm telling you, if you practice, you can get it down too. I've only braided my hair a few times and not even all of it, but only a few braids. And to see that I actually did this, I'm super stoked. All right, you guys, so after looking in the mirror, I knew there were some things that I wanted to touch up on. And to make these look more like Travis Scott's braids, I wanted to dye them, but I don't want to do them to damage my hair or do it actually in real life. I wanted to see what it looked like. And I could tell all of you, if you know how to work Photoshop or if you have app that allows you to try on, you know, outfits, glasses, or even try different hairstyles, I would encourage you to do it. Just because you can try it before you actually do anything to actually switch anything permanently. Like for this instance, I didn't want to dye my hair, bleach it, and then strip it of everything and then find out that I don't even like the style or the way it looks on me. So I wanted to try it out. And I thought it was a perfect opportunity just to pair this hairstyle up with how Travis Scott has his. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this quick little Photoshop session. And let me know if you want to see more of the behind the scenes kind of Photoshop things and everything like that on this channel while I'm doing these hairstyles and stuff like that. So comment down below what you guys think. Also comment down below if you think it looks dope, if I should actually bleach and dye my hair. But other than that, guys, let's jump straight back into the video. All right, guys, I have my hair pulled up and I'm just going to do one more step. Like I said, I'm going to actually give myself a haircut of some sort. But let's see how this goes. I'm going to show you guys the clippers I'm working with and then I'll show you the steps in which I'm going to do everything. So I'm using Andy's clippers. You can compare them to Masters or some Magic Clips, even though they're probably not as good. And then I got the Andy's T outliners. Then I have the Andy's T foils. So I'm going to be working my way up from closed to open. truth I'm just gonna rock with it like that because from my point of view I think it looks good notice that less is more especially with giving yourself just a quick little taper if you start going in a whole bunch you're gonna keep pushing it up and that's one thing that I don't want to keep making the same mistake on so I'm doing the same process over here now Ooh. 
All right, now that I feel like I got the taper even on both sides, and mind you, this is a quick haircut that is almost like giving yourself a lineup, and it's really quick. So if it's your last resort kind of thing, which typically this is what I do on my last resort, it comes in handy. So now I'm just gonna take my T-outliners and then flick out um, to blend this into a bald, and then I'm gonna go in with my T-foils and bald all this out. Now the biggest part that people probably are scared to touch is the back of the neck. But we're just gonna run through this and see how it goes. So I'm gonna do the same method, I'm just gonna work up. Alright, now here comes a more tricky part. I'm gonna line up everything behind my ear and it's kind of tricky. I'm just trying to focus on not messing it up. So I'm gonna set you guys over here. Alright, y'all did it. So, quick preview. In the back. Not too shabby, huh? Just a quick little taper fade. Not gonna lie, if you spend some time to actually practice your fade, it's really not that hard. Especially fading your temples and then your neck, it's actually really easy. Just because on your temples, your hair is typically lighter, so it's easier to catch a blend. And then also on your neck, your hair is really thick, so it's easier to blend it out because there's so much hair to work with. But like I said, practice does help you out. All right, you guys, I'm done with the fade and it took some time, but we got through it. I just did a taper fade and it looks pretty cool. I like having thick hair and then having it go into a fade. It just looks clean, makes it look more of a fade. But a taper on both temples, and then the taper on the back. Not sure how the taper on the back looks. Sometimes it's hard to get the back, obviously, because it's hard to see. But we got through it. This is one of those accomplishments that when you're finished, you're just like, wow. But I'm gonna take my hair down. You guys can see what's going on. My hair's probably curly again, because I put it in a bun. So that's not the smartest idea, but yeah, my hair's curly, dang it. I feel like Medusa. But on the bright side, I braided all of my hair for the first time, gave myself a fade, and I'm ready to go. And obviously with me wearing it down more, my hair's gonna straighten out because of the weight. And the cool thing is, is if I wanted to redo one of these braids, they're already sectioned out. So I could just take that braid out and then redo it and then do all the rest if I wanted to. But you guys, that's the video. Hopefully you guys are encouraged to actually do your own hair and not feel pressured to go to a salon or go to someone else to actually do your hair. Because I feel like everything regarding your hair, you should be able to do on your own because it's just hair. But I think it's cool having the option to be able to do all this stuff by yourself. So I wanted to help you guys out and help myself out at the same time because I've been wanting to learn how to braid for the longest and I want to keep on getting better at it. So I'm going to keep on practicing. But comment down below how I did. Comment down below if you've ever done this. And also let me know if you're going to try this on yourself. But you guys will see you next time. Hope you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.